Oh no, another mistake. Now I can start all over again. Does this dress look okay? Can I wear it? Better not. Am I even allowed to post this? I am no artist. How many times have your thoughts stopped you from doing something you really wanted? And instead, you went for the safer option. Or worse, you quit completely. Because you are not perfect. I have been trying to achieve that for far too long. And do trust me when I tell you, it is rather exhausting. Isn't it much better to just do what you want, wear what you want, who cares if it's the latest trend or not? Or that if all you're wearing have flawlessly matching colors. So what if no one likes this jacket? You do. That's enough. It should be. It is the most important thing. You like it. Perfect is a beautiful word. But in truth, there is such a poisonous subtone hidden beneath the beauty. Beneath the surface everyone sees. Perfectionism is, I have no other word for this, a curse. I know it is one thing to say or hear this, and another entirely different thing to actually act like that. Forgiving yourself for your flaws and mistakes, I believe, is one of the key points here. You see, no one is never was, and never will be perfect. It was some time ago when I have shown my painting to mom. She loved it. But I didn't feel all that well about it. And I did an unbelievable thing. I apologized because it wasn't perfect. And I will probably never forget the words she told me. Of course it is not perfect, but that is the beauty of it. If it were perfect, it would have been a photograph. Those words really hit me. When you think back on all those moments you try to make something flawless, when you try to be perfect. How many times did that bring true joy to you? Because for me, more often than not, those were times when I was so stressed and I couldn't see how amazing the things around me were. I couldn't enjoy the day the meeting with my friends, or whatever event or thing it was. The only thing I was able to see were the mistakes and imperfections. It has come to me really recently. It was all such unnecessary stress. And when you come on terms with that, you forgive yourself. And start doing your own thing. There are two things that will happen. Firstly, the people that truly care about you will still be there, flaws or no. They do not care whether you aced that exam without making a single mistake or passed it just with the last possible mark or even failed it. They will still love you just for who you are. Secondly, and more importantly, you will feel a great change. You will be free. It is such a burden, being perfect. Have you ever noticed how big part of your thinking, your life, it takes? It is insane. Trust me. Accepting your imperfections, in the end, it will leave you much happier. Perfect does not exist. So why chase something that was never there, when you have something amazing and unique just in front of you?